I just had to start off today's video with this clip. I mean, I was behind cover and died to this Annie tank and got called back in. And of course, I just went straight for the tank. And kind of out of character for me, I popped the Tony Stark while in combat in the game does what it does best but I definitely need some scores down in the comments section for that landing on a scale from 1 to 10 how was that flight and of course the return back to terra firma I'm thinking that's an 11. Welcome back to the channel it's Latina Buzz Lightbeer and we've got breaking news from the front as we crushed that last major order and it's time to squash the automatons once and for all. Thank you so much for the awesome love you've been showing my Helldivers uploads. Remember to hit subscribe and ring the notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. And let's dive on in. Okay, straight out of the gate, I've been seeing your comments, I've been reading those DMs, and of course, speaking with members live over on my Helldivers Discord. Open invite link in the video description and a shameless plug right there. Ha. Anyways, the major order rewards seem to be arriving via snail mail these days because I may be wrong here, but I don't think I received them yet for the Malevolent Creek Liberation, so that was like two major orders ago, or this previous order called Operation Swift Disassembly Phase 3. So we need Arrowhead to kind of get this one unclogged, if you know what I mean, because that's a bunch of metals I want to spend or save up, depending on the next war bond and how soon it will be before that arrives. Speaking of Operation Disassembly, this epic four-part major order mini-series, just this morning, we barely finished up Phase 3. By the way, congratulations on that. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. We just didn't finish it up. We Helldivers annihilated it with prejudice. And for that, we received, of course, another dispatch. The Automaton counterattack has been repelled. They no longer have the resources to sustain an offensive on such a scale. While the timeline of their phase-out has been extended, it remains within reach. Have we finally broken the Automaton's capacity to wage war? I mean, it certainly sounds like it from this dispatch, but then again, we are fed some serious propaganda from Helldiver HQ, so who actually knows? Now, of course, Game Master Joel's not going to let us win this one too quickly, and so we've now got the final countdown. And no, I'm not going to play that music. Phase 4. Annihilation. All Helldivers are ordered to make an all-out push to completely destroy the Automaton Legion. Despite the enemy's losses, Automaton messages still include references to the Reclamation. They must be annihilated before this plan can be carried out. Countless Helldivers gave their lives to acquire this opportunity. Do not let their sacrifices be in vain. Protect our way of life. Destroy the Automatons at any cost. So, what are we looking at here? Phase 4, Annihilation, is a four-day campaign involving three planets in the Severin Sector. So you've got Tibet, Maya, and Durgan all sitting close to zero progress. So we've got some serious diving to knock out. Now, I dove into Maya this morning and saw three effects, including meteor storms, and I think it was also the anti-air stratagem modifier, so we only got to select three total stratagems, but yeah, overall, it was tough to complete, and we made it out with zeros on the mission timer. Just looking over this major order, and it's going to be a grind to knock out the automatons as part of this phase four three planets from zero up to fully liberated and then you know we're gonna get defense campaigns on top of that that will come raining in once they hit 100 percent liberated and so we need all divers to hit these three planets in the severin sector as quickly as possible next up and you've got to again salute the team over at arrowhead for how hard they lean into these Starship Trooper type news broadcast and propaganda splashes because we just got this new breaking news alert over on Twitter confirming automaton gunships have now been sighted on the front lines. Really? <laughs> Listen to this part. Experts question if they are colluding with flying Terminids. And wouldn't that be wild if the automatons and the Terminids were actually forming an alliance to squash Super Earth? But seriously, for any Helldiver that has been recently taking on the oil cans, we know that they have those gunships. We know that they've got those massive walkers. But it's fitting that the news is always far behind what is actually happening on the battlefield. 
Also, before we jump into some other interesting Helldivers discussions, today's daily order is to kill 40 enemies using the Eagle Cluster Bomb for 15 medals. And by the way, this is actually a really good stratagem, especially for that short call-in time. And you can be precise with it if you want to be, or you can just drop it in willy-nilly and not give any indication where it's going to land, and you can kill the bots and your teammates with the same ferocity. Now, uh, if we can backtrack for just a moment and hop back to that continued broadcast from the automatons concerning the reclamation, because we've been hearing that one from them for a while now. This Reddit post with over 3,400 upvotes said, we should let the automatons carry out the reclamation and reach Cyber Stan. It would be cool to see the cyborgs, I think. Helldivers lore connects the previous faction, the cyborgs, with the current iteration, the automatons. And I agree, it would be interesting to see the new and the old kind of reconnect as part of the reclamation, allowing the bots to reach Cyber Stan and join with their history. But... Who in the hell wants that to happen? We've got some oil spilling to do, and the bots are clinging to three planets, so let's squash them out of existence and get prepared for that illuminate onslaught. Oh, also, by the way, if you look below the photo here, all that binary code, it actually says, it would be dope. Speaking of being dope, awesome transition there, right? Uh, we also just received a notice from High Command concerning our Helldiver back pay. And this one comes to us direct from Twinbeard on the official Helldiver Discord, relating to us not receiving our medals once we complete those major orders. Your hard-fought medals are already being shipped, Helldivers, due to the vast amount of outstanding soldiers participating in the continuous fight for democracy. Dispatching them, however, takes some time, usually a few hours. Try a few days, Twin Beard. Thank you for your non-wavering effort and support. High Command out. So, there you go. Pretty much what we already knew. Kind of like that news broadcast confirming Automaton dropships. But if we are receiving a notice like this, it means that the dev team is aware of players not getting the rewards in a timely manner. And apparently, it is a priority. And finally, let's end on a high note. This Reddit post with over 4,100 upvotes so perfectly tells the tale of what so many of us have had to endure, and it shows the Helldiver running up to the ammo resupply and then climbing it. And usually for me, it happens at the exact wrong time. But for this group of divers, they got creative. One time we were doing the drill mission and we had to bomb the final drill area with an F-ton of Eagle 500 kgs, orbitals, and whatnot. Well, the whole ground under the drill was so badly cratered you could not reach the console to give the final command. It was so high up someone should stand on someone's shoulders to reach it. Then I remembered this. I ordered a resupply and mission accomplished. Modern democracy requires modern solutions and that's absolutely brilliant use of their helldiver brain power and it's definitely a 200 iq moment and wouldn't you know it i had today's helldivers video all set ready to go it was uploaded to youtube i was just waiting for it to render up to 4k and arrowhead just comes out of left field and says hold our beer we've got breaking news that's right they just announced the Release date for our next premium war bond. This one's called Democratic Detonation, and it's official. It's dropping on April the 11th. That's the trailer you see playing right now. I'm going to be reading from their article. It says, Noble patriots of Super Earth, the time for stealth is over. I love that. A new Helldiver 2 premium war bond has been deployed to all fighting units on front lines across the galaxy on April the 11th, codename Democratic Detonation. Love that. This Concoction of chaos. Oh, nice mixing of words there. Is packed with explosive weapons, fierce armor, super slick capes, and sweet emotes. So let loose and make the biggest bang since the dawn of time to blow up the bugs, melt the machines, and ignite the raging fires of Liberté. All right, so it goes on to say firepower. We're going to get the BR-14 Adjudicator Rifle. Deliver righteous judgment to your enemies with accuracy. This armor-penetrating assault rifle is best used against smaller groups. All right, next up is the R-36 Eruptor Rifle. Keep your distance. This bolt-action rifle fires jet-assisted shells that explode shrapnel in all directions upon impact. All directions even your face. 
I'm not making that up. It says it right there in the article. You also get the CB9 exploding crossbow. Kaboom! Enjoy powerful exploding bolts that dish out max damage upon direct impact. Gravity must be accounted for when aiming. Ooh, so it looks like our bolts are going to have elliptical paths to target. We're going to have to take that into account. We also have secondary weapons and utility boosters, the G123 Thermite Grenade. Listen to this. This little beauty can stick to surfaces before burning up to a toasty 2,000 degrees centigrade. Wow. And we see here in the trailer that somebody's throwing it and attaching it to a charger. So that may be our new favorite grenade we're also going to get the gp31 grenade pistol does what it says on the label a pistol that fires grenades don't forget to reload between shots though we're also going to get the expert extraction pilot booster need to get out of a jam fast this booster lowers the time it takes for the extraction shuttle to reach the extraction beacon home in time for dinner wow Okay, we also get three new armor sets. We're going to get the, uh, excuse me, the CE-27 Groundbreaker. This is a medium armor. It says the ground is just another obstacle that hasn't yet been cleared. Uh, I guess and it has some sort of quote from an Evacuation Corps founder. We're also going to get the CE-07 Demolition Specialist. This is a light armor originally worn by lunar terraformers. This suit can withstand rapid changes in pressure, heat, and personal <laughs> velocity. Like uh, my clip from today getting flung across the board. And finally, the heavy armor is the FS-55 Devastator. Domestic versions of this armor allow colonial farmers to safely plant crops and mines side by side while staying in one piece. Of course, always accessorize your choice of armor with brand new capes. We've got the Harbinger of True Equality, Eagle's Fury, or Freedom's Tapestry as you mix and match your lethal loadout of liberation. God. Ah. All right. Democratic Detonation is rolling out to your Destroyer's Acquisitions panel on April the 11th. Let's drag our malevolent enemies into the burning flames of hell, soldiers. Fire in the hole! Oh my god, all of that verbiage in there was a complete tongue twister, but there you go, Helldivers, breaking news, Democratic Detonation, coming April the 11th, I'm going to assume it's a thousand super credits, so start accumulating those in game, save them, don't spend them in the superstore, that way you can just buy the brand new War Bond once it goes live next week. All right, on that note, I think we're going to press pause for today and make sure and leave me that score for the launch and landing you got to witness in the opening clip. I think I'm going to score out pretty well on this one. Remember to hit subscribe and ring that notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. All my socials can be found in the video description, including an open invite link to my fast-growing Helldiver Discord community. We've got everything there, including free voice channels. You can activate those mics and bring the pain. Shout out to the now over 214,000 of you savages out there that have hit subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you. The channel is just growing by leaps and bounds. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer signing off. <laughs>